Hey everyone, I'm just using a Jobber demo account here to show you how to set up recurring jobs with automatic billing. Um, so this could be for, let's say, a service plan where they pay a flat monthly price each month. It could also be set up as a per visit charge um, to be billed after each visit. It could be set up as a job where it records each visit, but it is put through at the end of the month. Um, so I'll give you a couple examples here, and then I'll also include how to make an invoice without a job. And I think that covers everything. If I miss anything, just let me know. Um, so I'll start with creating a recurring job. So just click on job. I won't put a client name in here. It's not really necessary to set this up. So let's call this EE subscription service. I'm gonna check recurring job, start date. Sometimes you have to be mindful of the start date, depending on when you want your invoicing to go out or be done. And just make sure that the start date is before that first invoice is expected. Um, so I'll just leave this one for the 11th. Um, you can add times here if it's supposed to be at the same time for visits every month. If there is no times, you can definitely leave that blank. If you click on repeats, it'll allow you to set a schedule. So for things like possibly, you know, you have a weekly visit each week you could set that. If it's something where you are manually setting visits, you could have it as needed. If you have it set this way, Jobber is not going to remind you or it's not going to put an automatic visit on the schedule. You'll have to schedule it manually. Otherwise, if it's any kind of weird customized schedule, like a once monthly visit could be set monthly, or sorry, monthly, every one month on a certain date, or it could be monthly every one month on a certain day of the week, which is what I recommend. Just if you go by date, there is a chance that at some point that date would fall on a weekend. And if you don't do weekends, then it's best to just choose the week and the day. If you're not 100% sure when you want that, um, that visit to take place during that week, like if your your scheduling isn't that flexible, I would recommend probably putting it for the last day of the week so that you can move it forward or further out once you get a little closer. So for this one, I'm just going to say monthly every one month on the second Friday. Um, you can set these duration up to 10 years in Jobber. I wouldn't make this much longer than you need to, especially if you do something like a weekly visit, just the amount of visits that Jobber has to make. It kind of struggles with that. So if, let's say, it was a weekly visit, I wouldn't go more than maybe three to four years in here. Um, if you are trying to achieve a certain amount of visits, you can kind of play around with this as well to achieve when your first visit happens, when your last visit happens, and how many they get in a season or within a certain time frame. So if you have chosen dates and you know who you're going to assign it to, you can assign that right on the job level. If you decide to go with an as needed, where you're going to do manually scheduling, you're not going to be able to choose a team member. And that's because team members are assigned on a visit, not the actual job itself. So the visit is when you're actually going to do the work. When you make that visit, you'll be able to assign a team member at that point. Um, so invoicing, invoicing is usually separate from the visits, but it can be set up per visit as well. So if you wanted to bill per visit, so this would be something like mowing or maybe like a pest control application where you're gonna bill 
per visit each time you go, like that is the pricing model. You could have per visit and have all four or five visits take place on or show up on one invoice at the end of the month. So if you click on that, that's where it's gonna go. You could also have it after each visit is completed. So every time your technician or yourself marks a visit complete, they're going to get an invoice immediately if you have automatic billing turned on. You can have invoicing set to as needed. So if this is something that you would like to bill out manually, you can do that. If you don't want Jobber to help you with the billing. Uh, once when job is closed, I don't really recommend this for recurring services for obvious reasons. You have to close the job for it to prompt the response or prompt the invoice reminder or the automatic. And then the last one is custom schedules. So if you have a billing cycle, um, let's say monthly on every one month on the 15th of the month. So every month on the 15th, someone's credit card is gonna be billed for those services. Um, when it comes to subscriptions, I would recommend having everyone on one day so that if something isn't getting billed or something's getting missed or someone's credit card didn't go through, you know when to look for that. You could also have it on day of the week. I don't typically set things up like that, but you could. You know, if it's like third Thursday of every month, your credit card gets billed, that's fine. Um, so for right now, the statement down here reads the way that I'd like it to monthly on the 15th day of the month. Now, if you have a flat rate, um, like a flat rate monthly price, you would choose fixed price monthly on the 15th day of the month or monthly on the last day of the month, or we go to schedule or the custom schedule and you want it for the first of the month, you can uncheck last day and check the first. Once this reads the way that you want it to, so monthly on the first day of the month, hit okay. So down here, it's gonna show you when your first invoice is gonna go out. So because our start date was July 11th, the first invoice is gonna go out August 1st. And that will continue monthly on the first day of the month until August 1st, 2034, because we've said that we wanted this to bill for eight years or 10 years, sorry. If we change this to two years, it should update. Now we have 25 payments, August 1st to 24 or 2024 to August 1st, 2026. If you wanted this for, let's say a one year term where you're gonna renew it for that person, you could do uh, 12 months. And because we had this start on August 1st, if we wanted this to bill out on the first of each month and get 12 equal payments, this is where you can change this um, start date to reflect how you want it to look. See if this updates it. Okay, Jobber's making a liar out of me. Let's go. 11 months. Now you have 12 payments. Just, just to make sure that the first payment is coming out when you want, the last payment is going to come out when you want, and it's going to run for 12 months. Now, if you want this done automatically, you would turn on your automatic payments. And if a customer doesn't have a credit card on file and that is how you wanna be paid, you can request a credit card right from this screen once the job is set or set up. Uh, for your line items, it's really important to have a line item that is just for, uh, let's call this, I don't know, let's call service plan. So you may have sent out a quote to somebody for 12 months and now you only want to put one month in there. So if we were doing $60 a month on a fixed rate or fixed price, this would be your line item. If you do per visit, 
every time a visit is marked complete in Jobber, $60 is either going to be billed out after each visit, if you have it set that way, or let's say in a four-week month, that customer would now be charged $320 on that last day of the month. Hopefully that makes sense without me changing all these settings. Um, you don't have to have a schedule for jobs. The schedule for the visits and the schedule for the invoicing is completely separate from one another. So you can absolutely just have a job that bills the customer with no visits and you can add visits to that job. Um, sometimes in the case of landscaping businesses, they'll have one billing job to build a package and then separate jobs to complete the work. Or you can set up each visit as it's needed throughout the season. Um, you're just going to hit save the job just to, you know, get those visits populated. Um, and then if you need to make any changes, you'll either need to edit the job as a whole, or if you do it from a visit, you can also update future visits. Hopefully this is helpful. I don't want to drag out too long and give too, too much detail, but hopefully this helps.